Hey guys, Coyote here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Dusk Earth 2. Picking up a little bit ahead of where we left off last time, uh, our hauler, Banakud, who had went off to build an artifact, has created Ozonadril, the Obsidian Earring. And as such, he has been promoted to Legendary. Let's take a quick look at what he built here. It's got a value of 32,400 dwarf bucks, which is nice. This is a sacred... Sorry, this is a obsidian earring. I don't know where I got the word sacred from. All craftsmanship is of the highest quality. It is decorated with wood and encircled with bands of round obsidian cabochons and marquee cut crystal glass gems. On the item is an image of Gothmore Steamy Onslaughts, the Lich Fiend, and Sakal Badhoofs, the Steam Runner. I'm not sure what a steam runner is. In Onyx Opal, Shakal Badhoofs is striking down Gothmer's steamy onslaughts. The artwork relates to the killing of the Lich Fiend Gothmer's steamy onslaughts by the steam runner Shakal Badhoofs in the Field of Crabs in 5 during the duel of the steam runner Shakal Badhoofs and the Lich Fiend Gothmer's steamy onslaughts. It's uh, a lot of engraving to be on an earring. So because he's obtained Legendary, I went ahead and I named him Stick Pivot, as was requested by Stick Pivot. I also went ahead and I named um, our most recent Legendary Miner after uh, Trey Blade. He'd requested a soldierly type, and since I eventually want to make my miners into soldiers, I kind of figured this will work out. That uh, leaves with, I believe, just uh, Vampiric Dark Dragon left to be uh, dwarfed at the moment. And I don't see anybody who's close yet. Uh, I'm sure we'll get you there at some point sooner rather than later, uh, Vampiric Dark Dragon. Uh, so I will keep you posted. <clears throat> now, on to the actual game. We finished off the wall and the stairs to let the uh, idiotic dwarf out. And I started building these walls here, and as you can see by the stairs here, we had yet another dwarf trapped in here. Now I'm working on these walls here. Once I get this section done, I'm going to start uh, working on some of these outer walls a little bit more. What I want to do is I want to get some floors built in here to make it easier to uh, build the walls around. And in the meantime, I'm going to see what else needs to be done. Uh, oh yeah, as um, Vampire Dark Dragon suggested, I do plan on building some tower-type defenses. What I also plan on doing, actually, is building some walls on this side of the quote-unquote moat as well. For a little bit of extra protection. I plan on only keeping it one high, and I'm probably going to go with two or three high on these walls. Which should give a good... Um, angle of fire down to whoever gets trapped on this side. At least in theory. We'll have to see how it actually goes in practice, I guess. Um, let's see, what am I going... My miners are not doing anything at the moment. So I want to get that uh, changed. One of the things I want to get done is um, start with, I want to get um workshop set up to use the magma which has been there for eight episodes and I haven't even touched yet I don't feel very dwarfy about that so I guess I should get on that what I'm gonna do is oh I can't do it here uh, I think I'll do the workshops kind of in this area here on the other side of these storerooms and then use these storerooms to store um, I, uh, ore and metal bars and uh, any coal that is needed. Any items that want to I want to get melted down will also go into one of these storerooms as well. That seems like the best use of space. And then down here, what I can do is build the magma tubes to um, get that uh, going for magma forges and such. So let's see what we can get done with that. Uh... I think I'll go with a corridor to start with. Have uh, some room for people to move around in a bit. That's 1, 11, 
21, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You know what? 11, 22, 33, should be 35, which is 3 by 3, probably about 8, which isn't and nearly enough. So, how about we go something like this? Whoops. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's room for one more in there. That's perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that was close. Nine. Then we can go one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Whoops. So what I'll do is I'll build another layer of. Uh, Shops on the workshop areas on this side. That'll give us room for 18, which should be more than sufficient. Whoops. There we go. That works out nicely. I got 12 idlers, but that'll go down by four. So I'll get the other idlers to, uh, well, I guess I'll have to see who's idle first. All right, miners, whoops, I guess I need to connect it, don't I? I have a bad habit of doing that. All right, so right there. And I think I heard combat again. All right, now go. I guess there's eight idlers, who's idle right now? Uh, the engraver, I should get on that. The siege master, what does he do? Is he just a haulery type? Siege master, yeah, just have him hauling. That's fine. I can get uh, some hauling done. Uh, armor savant, bone savant, and stick pivot. Uh, armor savant, bone savant. You know what? I'm going to get the bone savant to do some hauling. And stick pivot, I think, is set to haul. Uh, yep. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Brewer and scribe. They can do hauling and hauling. And then we've got the priest, who can also haul. All right, so that that makes things easy. What I'm going to do is get them to dump this area here out. That way, I can start making space for the various ores that I want to uh, bring down here. And it still puts me at five idlers. Unless some others are idle now. Oh yeah, the engravers. I don't think the engravers do hauling. Uh, what needs to be engraved still? Everything. <laughs> that uh, makes things easier, I guess. We'll go a section of bedrooms at a time. I don't think a buck hair is going to provide much food. Great. All right, now who's idle? Uh, Bone Savant and Stick Pivot are idle, but they shouldn't be. The Mechanic is idle, but he shouldn't be either, I don't think. Mechanic, where are you? There we go. Ah, yeah, you would be. So let's go like that. Get everybody doing something. We only have 36 dwarves, so the more that can be doing stuff, the better. Okay, that's going good. Uh, let's take a look up here and see how the walls are coming along. Ah, oh, excellent. Are those ones? No, they're not. So, no, I didn't want to dump. Um, build wall. Here we go. Get the last two wall segments stuck in there. Out of obsidian blocks. Okay, fighting the doe hair now. Again, probably not a lot of food. I don't know if they're hares, not rabbits, so they might be, because I think hares in real life are bigger than rabbits. We're here to help. And we have some migrants. 
Fantastic. All right, I'm going to pause while I sort out the migrants, and then I will we'll come back when that's done. All right, guys, I'm back, and it's taken care of. Uh, we only got nine dwarves, which I'm fine with. I don't want to get too many. Uh, we have a strand extractor um, at level three. Since strand extracting is apparently a religious ceremony in Masterwork Dwarf Fortress, and he's not a talented priest, I decided to call him an altar boy. Couldn't think of anything better. Um, and actually, I think that sounds better than just Strand Extractor, so we'll go with that. Uh, I got a legendary, or a royal dwarf with a pile of great legendary social skills. Persuader, Negotiator, Judge of Intent. So here's our new broker. He doesn't have appraisal skill. That hopefully won't be a problem, but once uh, he gets that up and going, he's going to be doing some awesome deals for us, in theory. Two more children. Uh, I don't believe either of them are a savant. Oh, wait, one of them is a savant. I take that back. Uh, yeah, we have a cook savant. So once he grows up, we'll have uh, two excellent uh, cook types. A bunch of haulers, as I kind of expected. And a guy with a pottery skill of seven. I figured I'd just leave him on the pottery skill. Um, and, oops, I'll take him off fishing. And just uh, keep him as a potter, just in case I do, do decide to do some uh, clay work. I don't normally, so I don't expect that he's going to get a lot of non-hauling jobs, but he's there in case it's needed. And I'm going to go back to here and do the the uh, children, the child laboring, because I forgot to do that. Uh, I'll leave him on butchering, I guess. I also decided to go and make my haulers. Uh, mechanics as well, so they can do like um, emptying cage traps and such. I don't uh, anticipate them uh, it being a problem with my main mechanic, who I'm going to make sure I assign the actual mechanics workshop to. Uh, looks good. Alright, let's jump back into the game. Once we get these walls done, I'm going to go and start working on that, uh, those uh, floors so that I can build the upper walls. Uh, buck hair again. Now, how am I doing for food and drink? Mm, food's not bad. Drink's a little low. Let's take a look and see what our brewer can do to change that. Alright, so the brewer does have stuff he can be doing. I'm going to go ahead, jump back into here, and take him off of hauling and put him on brewing. From the looks of things, uh, Vampiric Dark Dragon, you're probably going to end up being a brewer pretty soon. Oh, we have two brewers. Two legendary brewers. Nice. Yeah, so you, you'll probably end up being either a brewer or a miner. Guess we'll have to see how that goes. And actually, I'm kind of curious about Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Kind of curious about what my carpenter and mason are doing. Carpenter is constructing a building. Really? What is he constructing? Do I have him on masonating? Oh, I do. Okay. Alright, that's fine. That is okay. Brewer, brewer, brewer. Add brew drink on repeat. Man, I got so much sorting to do. Alright. Zip back down here. See how this is coming along? This is coming along nicely. Fact, nicely enough, that I'm going to start dumping the other area as well. Like that. And then hurry back up here. Is this done? Did we get a guy trapped in there? Uh, no, it's not done yet. So there's still time to get another guy trapped. Let's see, does that happen? Come on, who's doing it? Looks like the hunter is. I don't have, I don't hold much hope. Let's see, close our, <laughs> cross our fingers, cross our fingers. Ah, what an idiot. God damn it. Oh, I hate dwarves. I really do. Alright, build... Uh, downstairs. I guess we'll do it right here. 
if I had a free uh, free miner, I'd just mine this out. But I kind of want to keep that. Kind of gonna build floors over top eventually. Downstairs, out of microcline. Oh, uh, that reminds me. I wanted to see if there were any new animals. Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. Still have idlers. The hunter. Mark Dwarf. Stick Pivot. And a brewer. The brewer. That means that Norganus must be doing the brewerating, or somebody is. Oh, there you go. Uh, what? Uh, no, I don't want the child to be doing it. Alright, I guess that uh, forced my hand. You'll go back on it later, child. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see what's going on down here. Now we still have those going, which is good. Uh, I do have wood, so I will get the carpenter to build some barrels, I think. And ten barrels. Okay, good. Still constructing blocks, still constructing blocks. You know, yeah, I'll keep them up on that for now. Make sure I assign this to the mechanic. Here he is. You know what, I might as well make some mechanisms, I guess. And what's this guy doing here? Nothing? Oh! You know what, I think I know why Stick Pivot isn't doing anything. He still has a foot wound. Uh, yeah, no right foot, left buttock injury, right breast injury, and chest injury. All right, hopefully somebody will move him. Um, yeah, okay, well, I guess I can see why Stick Pivot isn't doing anything. You're probably going to end up doing nothing, Stick Pivot, until you can get uh, healed up, or if I can get you a crutch. I'll have to look into that for you. Well, maybe I'll craft some tube sections. I can get... Uh, my soldiers to do some pumping to uh, get up their strength a little bit. Is there anything else I can think of while I'm down here? Yeah, actually there is. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. You know, I'm going to go ahead and make uh, a splint and a crutch first, and then barrels. There we go. Come back up here. Build upstairs. Should go right here. Not out of mithril bars. Is that the... who is that? Ah, yeah, Thunder. Okay. That's why he's not doing anything, because he's trapped. And once I get that uh, other stair done, then I can start um, building the floors so I can start doing the wall, uh, rest of the walls. Alright. Build, see, f nope, not ramp. Floors. I don't think I want to build the floors out of obsidian blocks, but that's what I got the most of, so... Have at it. Do I have any... Oh, one microcline block. Uh, I could do it out of straight microcline. It'd be blue walls. Now I'll do obsidian blocks. There are lots of them. Obsidian blocks. Obsidian block, and I need one right there as well. I do want to keep most of this here open to air. Forest him. Okay, that's fine. I want to keep most of this open aired so that I can build some above ground farms down there. Oh, my hunter's fighting it. Okay. 
Flying deep bronze bolt strikes the forest into the groin. <laughs> Ouch. Tearing the muscle. Brutal. Nice shot. Okay. Another forest imp. Another forest imp. Yeah, they come in packs. Okay. And I'll go ahead and I'll start doing the... No, I won't. Re I'll do one section of floor at a time. That way I don't get uh, my guys too distracted. I do want to see how this mining is coming out, though. Okay, mining is done. I am going to then... Hmm. D... H... Do some channeling. Channel there... Basically one spot in... Oh, I kind of want to do a uniform though. I don't know why I'm doing it that way. Alright. Uniform. Uniform is the way to go. Okay, I'm going to assume those are there under the blocks. That way I know exactly where I need to put the lava tubes. Then once those are channeled out, I can go and start uh, doing the lava tubes themselves. Uh, D, B, D, dump this. Alright, well, let's get those tubes done. Go to there. Okay, should be easy enough. And what I think I'll do is, to be safe, is I'll channel uh, rather than dig. Need empty storage in it. Uh, how many drinks do we have? Almost 600. Let's go back here, and what is my carpenter doing? Nothing. Alright, carpenter, you are no longer going to be hauling or masonating. I should have taken you off this... Oh, you weren't hauling before. Alright, that's fine. And I think the carpenter was the one that was building blocks, wasn't he? Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, that's okay. We only need one guy doing blocks now, I think. Actually, you know what? Let's stop him from doing blocks as well. And let's get him to do some other stuff. Um... Some floodgates... And then we'll do some statues. No, not armor stand. Some obsidian statues just to add a little bit of decoration to the homestead. Okay, come back down here. I'm going to go ahead and hotkey this area as Shift F1. No, not Shift F1. We'll do F8. New Magma F. And then zoom. There we go. I just gotta think of the best place to go to do the channeling. I mean, ideally right here, uh, excuse me, would be the best place. Now, how does that trend up here? 
Could be better. Could be worse too, though. So let's go. Whoops. D. Let's go like that. Wait, hold on. Um, 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 um. No, I want to go there. And right here, I think. Uh, maybe I should have done it one further back. Oh well. Okay, well, that's fine. I'll figure something else out. Uh, if I'd gone back, if I'd stopped it here, I could have done a fortification there. Or no, no, actually, that's work. No, wait, it doesn't work. Because I need to channel this block here out. Um, actually, come to think of it, I don't think either of those work. Because I would have to channel this block here out. Well, I guess I'll be uh, sacrificing a hauler to that job. <laughs> All right. Uh, I do want to X this out. There we go. And you know what, I'm also going to get rid of the uh, ramps. Because I don't need them there. Alright, let's jump back up here and see how this is uh, done, actually. Walls. I'll we'll start building the entire south section of wall now. Uh, yeah, right there. Obsidian wall. Obsidian. If I was better at uh, 3D sculpting, I'd do like some sort of dwarven head motif on the gates or as a dome of some sort, but unfortunately I can't do 3D to save my life. Like literally, if I was being held up and a guy said, sculpt something 3D or I'll shoot you, I'd be dead. Because, yeah, it's just not that good. Actually, I guess I can do this one here as well. Okay. I left this one out so that the corner piece can get done. I've gotten stuck a few times where the corner piece wasn't done, and I'd have to deconstruct something, and blah blah blah. Alright, well, how's this coming along? Okay, he's almost done the floodgates, which is good. He's almost done the... well, I wouldn't say almost, I guess. And I don't think we have any grown up animals set to be slaughtered, do we? Well, lots of turtle hatchlings. I guess I could slaughter the, uh, the adults now. Because so we got tons and tons of hatchlings. Yeah, in fact, I think. Bearded key. And. I can go ahead and slaughter most of the adult cavern keats as well. I'm going to slaughter the leathering bat. Well, some of the slaughtering I'm going to do is to, to help basically take care of some FPS issues. Get rid of the duck and the boulder crab. The boulder crab. Uh, no, I'm going to keep the boulder crab. Get rid of the giant wild boar, though. Uh, am I using mole rats? Mole rats, mole rats. Do we have any mole rats? 
mole rats. No, I guess I'll keep the kitten then. All right, kitten, you live for another day. Have at her. All right, let's see how this is going up here. It's coming along. Excellent. And then down here. Uh, excellent. I do want to get these gems. I don't want to leave these gems behind. Rough Onyx Opal. So, I'm going to set up a temporary gem stockpile. Actually, no, I think I'll just have them dumped. D, B, D, it'll be quicker. Dump. 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 There we go. In fact... No, actually I won't. I was thinking I'd put the... Um, put the miners on dumping duty for now, but I have something else I want them to do. Actually, I want to see how their skills are coming along first. Read. Almost. Once all three of these guys are to 20, I'm going to set them on um, soldier duty and turn them over, turn over to some new miners. Uh, and then they will be hauling and training. Or possibly just training. That's my theory, anyways. Okay, and uh, what's going on up here? This is coming along nicely. And what I'll probably do is get the uh, new miners to do some some make work, like harvest out a whole pile of sandy area, which I could then in the future use for underground um, pastures once I break into the the caverns, which I still haven't done yet. And that should help our meat supplies. Oh, quite a bit. Nice. <sighs> okay, so I'm guessing the carpenter's done with the... Oh, not quite. Probably gonna have him make a bunch of bins as well, because we could use some bins being done. Alright, let's check down and see if this has been dumped yet. Just about, I think. Uh, it looks like the last ones... Oh, no, one more. Um, they must also be dumping stone. Alright, build a floodgate right here. Okay. Oh, we're fighting a unicorn. Well, the hunter is fighting a unicorn. Alright, it looks like the dumping is done, which is good. And the floodgate is going to be built. Obsidian floodgate with obsidian... Oh, a snatcher! Where? Oh, okay, it looks like our, uh, our uh, golems will take care of that. Oh yeah, totally taken care of. Taken care of, I guess, would be more proper. Get his tough leather bag. I'm thinking we're going to have to start uh, preparing ourselves mentally for another, or for an invasion, because I don't think we've been invaded yet. I think all we've had to deal with so far was uh, an ambush. So I want to get this done quicker than quick, which is pretty damn quick. That's like flash quick. I don't know if that's quite Superman quick, though. Remember there was uh, an old, I think it was an action comics issue from maybe the 80s or 60s or sometime before my dime, uh, comic book reading wise, where the Flash and Superman were having a race around the world. I don't know who won that. I only remember ever seeing the cover. If anybody's seen the cover and knows who won that race, just let me know, because I'm kind of curious. and. I don't really feel like uh, looking it up on Wiki. 
Alright, so I've got those floors laid out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, thanks guys for watching, and uh, see you next time. Thanks.